Travel will know that it, he got some help today, and that's what he was looking for. Tonight at 6, Brian Stowe's parents share their reactions after a jury in the Los Angeles civil trial awarded the beaten Giants fan $18 million. The jury found the Los Angeles Dodgers are responsible for $15 million of that total. But before we break down the numbers, Crown Force Catherine Heenan has more on what Stowe's family had to say after waiting a long time for help. Catherine. Yeah, and it felt like a long time. Brian Stowe cannot uh, really speak for himself today, but but as soon as the verdict was announced, the question was how he and his family were reacting. Bryant's parents and their attorney didn't wait long. Minutes after the court session broke up, they talked about their relief that there are damages that will help in his care. Here's some of what they said, starting with their attorney, who talked about the people who have worked hardest to keep Brian going, his mother and father. Here since this accident, they've devoted their lives, man. Everything from getting him out of bed to taking him to the bathroom and everything else. And now we're going to get some help for that so that indeed their lives can be a little bit nicer to get through life. The, the thing is, he did get some money to help his future, and that's what we want. I was so excited when they got to question number four, asking about uh, how much they attributed to Brian for this, and none of them attributed any of this to Brian. I was so ecstatic because we know our son, and we know that the picture the defense was trying to portray was not Brian at all. And this tells for the first time vividly Listen here, man, you better protect the people that come to your stadium. You better watch the beer sales to people that can assault people. You better have proper people in the parking lots when this thing is over. So I think what you've done is far more than just you and Brian. It really is. The money the Stowe family asked for, uh, they're not getting as much as they wanted. But again, they still seem very pleased with the verdict. Brian's father, David, says that while his son might not understand the complicated details of the verdict, he will know that he got some help today. Grant? Yeah, not as much as Stowe's team wanted. His attorney was asking for $37 million, but this indeed will help. The jury found the Dodgers to be 25% responsible for the incident, also responsible the men who attacked Stowe and are now in prison. But the jury did not find then Dodgers owner Frank McCourt to be negligent. The jury awarded Stowe nearly $18 million. His lawyer says in reality, though, Stowe will actually receive from the Dodgers about $15 million. The other $3 million would need to be paid by Stowe's attackers, and they're in prison. The money awarded is intended to cover past and future earnings, medical expenses, as well as pain and suffering. The Dodgers' lawyers had argued Stowe's medical costs would be between $6 and $11 million. The jury found, again, Stowe is in no way responsible for the attack. His mom was glad to hear that, despite the fact that he had been found to be drinking. Pam. Continuing our team coverage, the Bay Area and the nation, both closely watching this trial. Crown Force Philippe Jagal is live at AT&T Park ahead of tonight's game there, where he got reaction to the Brian Stowe verdict. Philippe. Pam, the Brian Stowe case has become very personal for both Giants players and coaches. This verdict really hits home for these players and coaches, especially those who have kept in constant contact with the family. One of those players in particular is Giants reliever Jeremy Affelt, who we caught up with earlier today on the field after he was done warming up. Earlier this year, Affelt donated $25,000 to the Stowe family to help offset some of Brian's enormous medical costs. Affelt says he sent a text to the Stowe family after learning the verdict, a verdict he says may not have gone far enough. Listen. It seems interesting that, you know, a guy goes to a game, has a little fun, and then he leaves the game owing a lot of money because of an attack that happened on him to a point that he, you know, he was, you know, beaten to a coma, you know, and, and when you go into a situation like that where you get beat down into a coma so bad and then all of a sudden there's all this debt and all this money and then people say that only, you know, only, you know, the Dodgers are only a quarter of the money and then these guys owe some money and, but then it's still not even enough to really cover all of what probably what has already been built up over the, over the expenses. It, it can be a mixed feeling uh, for me. Meanwhile, there's still a very big game to be played here at AT&T Park tonight. Game three of the Bay Bridge series between the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland Athletics. 
game, uh, the first pitch is at 7:15. Live at AT&T Park tonight. Philippe Chagall, Quran 4 News. And the San Francisco Giants issued an official statement on the jury decision. It reads in part, quote, the jury's verdict closes one chapter of this tragic story. We want to thank the Giants fans and the entire Bay Area community for their heartfelt support of the Stowe family during their difficult journey. We will continue to be there for Brian and his family as they care for him and for his children, unquote. Grant. All right, people are sharing their thoughts on the Brian Stowe verdict on social media. There's been strong reaction on the trial on Twitter, and 53% of people are having positive reactions about this. 47% uh, have negative reactions. We see the breakdown right here. Our analytics getting the sense from what people are saying. You see more than 1,300 people have been talking about this. Most think that if you do think it's negative, you think that Stowe was at fault and that he should not been awarded any money. Again, he was found to have been drinking. Other negative tweets coming from Stowe supporters who think he didn't get enough compensation. So you could have a negative reaction to this and think Stowe should have gotten more money. So interesting to see on social media what people are talking about. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this story. Send us a tweet or join the conversation. We'll have all the details as well on cron4.com. Pam.